Denny's system is broken down into four zones. Each zone uses particular lines to match the patterns being used and the kind of retrieve used to induce a response from the fish. When we take a look at the zones, here's what I consider the top zone, and I'm going to show you how I think it needs to be covered and fished. When they reach this zone, they're pretty much still, and they're trying to break out of the nymphal chuck to become the adult. Once they're the adult, then we find that insect up here, and we imitate that with a dry fly. We have to move our fly to stay in the zone, so if you use little slow pulls like this or a hand twist like this, and bring it back slowly like this, but you're only going to bring it back three or four feet. The ideal way to fish that top zone when they're in that four or five inches, slowly remove your cast without spooking the water, put it right back out there, and then come back like this. When you're not seeing that surface action, make your cast, let that fly drop down, and as you retrieve it, you'll come down into this zone. A variety of fly lines can be fished in this zone, depending upon your choice of flies and the retrieve you want to use. One so when you guys think of Stillwater presentation, just remember, casting is critical, distance is critical when the water's flat. If it's if the sun can reach all the way down to here. If it doesn't reach the bottom, folks, you have no oxygen, you have no germination, there's basically no plant life, you don't have any fish, no insects, there's nothing down there. That's why when you fish a lake that stratifies, if your thermocline were to build in, say at this level, everything down below that has zero oxygen. Nice, nice cam loop. Getting back in the water. 